Wednesday as I start this, and I hope you guys are having a good day. It's raining where we are. The weather is supposed to clear up in a little while, but that's the reason why I'm here and I'm not at the landscaping job that we have that we're trying to get finished by the end of the week. I've just recently started sharing with you guys this job that we have and the work that's going on over there. And I wanna take this time to thank you guys for the encouragement and the kind words as I try to get this job completed. This was a huge undertaking for me to take on. This was a huge responsibility for me to take on. But in the first two days of us being over there, I feel like we've gotten pretty far. And I'm hopeful to be able to put in a half day over there today and get even further. But before we get to all of that, I've gotta go over to the flip house. I wanna show you guys what's been taking place over there. And I've also gotta go get the flooring. These guys are ready to get to this flooring and then get this kitchen installed. And I've gotta find a time to be able to paint this place. These guys can't be waiting on me and I'm not available and that's not their responsibility or their problem that I'm stuck doing this landscaping job. So I'm just gonna have to paint around what they get done and hopefully be able to do a good job with that. It's definitely gonna make the painting job a lot more difficult, but it is what it is. I'm gonna get it done. Without further ado, I wanna get this day underway. Say what's up to my doggies. What you doing, Lucy? She's feeling a lot better ever since she got spaded and he got some teeth pulled. They live their lives outside of the cage even though he's inside of there right now. Here he comes. Come on, boy. These doggies are living a good life. So shout out to Louie, shout out to Lucy, and shout out to all of you. Let's make it happen today. And hope that we get a lot of things done as well. So I just got all the landscaping stuff out of the back of the truck. Some of it was already taken out of the back. There were just some rakes and stuff left. I need the back of the truck to have a lot of space in it. I've gotta go pick up 31 boxes of flooring. But before we leave, I wanna share this with you guys. Uh, in the last video, I was talking about this thing that I was buying to help us with the leaves. Well, this is what I was talking about right here, folks. And this is the Echo ES250 3-in-1 25.4 cc blower slash leaf vacuum with the little baggie on the end of it. And if anybody's looking for an easier way to be able to, you know, pick up leaves in a yard, especially when you've got three plus acres of leaves to be picking up, folks, don't use this right here. Yeah, I meant to share that with you guys yesterday. That thing right there is virtually useless. Maybe if you've got like a small little pile of leaves, that's the way to go, but not on something that's three plus acres. The best that I've found is using two rakes as some tongs and having somebody hold a trash bag. It's been back breaking. And we're gonna be getting back to that hopefully a little later today. It's freezing outside, it's still wet, so I'll we'll have to play it by ear and see how all of this goes, but right now, Let's go pick up some flooring. All right, 44 boxes of flooring. I'm sweating through my hoodie. I just lugged this all the way from the back of the store, loaded this up, and there's no way I'm fitting all that in here. Maybe I do. I'm about to try though. Thank them guys right there. Oh my God, thank you so much. All the floor and loaded up. All right. All right, excuse the wind. I ain't got no windshield on this camera. So I'm just getting from Lowe's over to the flip house. And folks, this is what we got. 44 boxes of this, probably two tons of flooring, at least that's what it felt like as I was lugging that on the cart all the way from the back of the store up to the cash register. That shit was so heavy, my legs were burning. So I'm gonna get this unloaded right here, check out what's going on inside the house. Well, let's see what's going on inside the house. That might actually be a good idea. Going on, man. Going on. All right, inside the house. All right. Well, 
sorry I didn't really film up in the house. I saw some things that I needed to talk to the guys about. So that's why I kind of cut it short. But damn, straight muscle block today, folks. It's 12.44 in the afternoon and I just got done lugging 44 boxes of flooring through Lowe's. I dragged that cart all the way from the back of Lowe's, you know, all the way up to the cash register. I got a 15% discount. I don't know if that was because they saw me struggling or because they were running some kind of special or something, but that was cool. That saved us some money. We spent $1,200 on flooring. And then shout out to the forklift guys at Lowe's. They saw me out there struggling, so they helped me load up the last of it. But then I got to the house and I unloaded 44 boxes by myself. And uh, I've already been working up a nice little sweat today. The weather has been improving. And <clears throat> mm, that's not the Corona. That's, uh, that's dust and smoker's lung. And I'm debating going over to the house to put in, you know, half of the day. That's what I need to do. So that's probably what I'm getting ready to do. But again, sorry that I didn't film much up inside of the house. You probably just saw some clutter and some debris and stuff. But there are things that I needed to talk to them guys about. And they are getting things rocking and rolling. The flooring is going to be coming maybe as early as tomorrow or the next day. It probably needs to sit for at least a day. So it'll probably be at least a day before we get the flooring done. But got some really nice flooring going up in there. Definitely didn't skimp on that i found some flooring for a dollar 69 a foot and then it was 38 35 a box and then when i got there i'm looking at this stuff and it was super I mean, weird looking it was three millimeter it was like two feet sections it was called pro core i'll show you a picture of it right here if you're doing flooring i definitely don't recommend this once i realized that that wasn't going to do the trick that was just some bullshit basically I spent a good little while looking for other flooring, found some other flooring, but then I had to make sure they had the square footage that we needed. I got 700 square foot of floors, so hopefully that's gonna get the job done. Enough talk, let's figure out what we're doing for the rest of this day because we definitely got work that needs to get done. It's probably gonna be about 1.30 by the time we get there and we are almost at the property for the cleanup. Got the trailer behind me, nothing in the trailer. No zero turn, no push mower. All I brought today was the blower and the limb, the, the pole saw. There's my wife. She's in front of me. Shout out to her. She has been busting her butt on this thing. I know she really didn't feel like coming out here and doing this today. She was super exhausted. She's been working. We got the pole saw, we got the blower, we got the two rakes, we got trash bags and gloves. That's the extent of our equipment today. It's gonna be me, my wife, Shannon's on her way out. She's going to be joining us. Special shout out to her as well. I know in the last video, I didn't really get a chance to talk with her much. I'm going to try to do a little more of that today. We got some wind, so you guys bear with me. We don't got a windscreen on this camera. But regardless, the game plan is we're going to go over here. We're going to work till about 4.30. Uh, put in almost a half day's work. Not quite a half day's work. And just try to get some leaves consolidated and bagged up we also got some wind today and it's also rained so these leaves are going to be a lot heavier they're probably not going to blow very well at all so blowing these leaves might actually not really do too much and it's probably just going to be not as easy as it's been everything had been dry prior to today and the fact that it rained this morning and last night but regardless we're gonna make a good effort to put in as much work as we possibly can. So I'll share with you guys what we got going on, either when we get there or a little bit after we've been getting some work done. Now I remember what I was gonna say. Yeah, the reason I got the trailer, and I don't have anything loaded on it. I wanna pick up a bunch of those leaf bags that we've left by the curb. I don't know for sure, maybe it's my paranoia, but I can only imagine on the neighborhood app they're talking about those bags of leaves. I don't want to make it a nuisance in the neighborhood. You know, there's going to be 400 bags of leaves by the time it's all said and done. I'm going to get rid of those. Now, you might be wondering where I'm taking them. I'm not even taking them to the dump today. I'm going to go dump them in my backyard. My backyard is about to be the dump for a little while. I want to show the neighborhood, you know, that we take seriously this job that we're doing. And who knows? I'm not going to guarantee nothing. But maybe we get another job out of this. 
property restorations. I'll share with you guys what we got going on in just a little bit. All right, here's my beautiful wife. She's been busting her ass out here. And we got out here at 1.30 and it's four o'clock now. And we are getting it. We got piles here. We're gonna have stuff over here to clean up. We got a ton of tree debris here. And our pile over there is getting a heck of a lot bigger. But we've cleaned this entire area up. Working our way from the front back on this side and then what like three three hours and some change we got pretty far the weather cleared up on us and that's nice back here in the Blair Witch woods Shannon's back here Shannon Shannon's getting her Paul Bunyan on damn girl you cleared this out a lot Heck yeah. How you holding up today? All right, a little sore from yesterday. You got blisters on your hands? I do, I'm gonna file for workman's comp. Yeah, we ain't got no benefits yet, <laughs> Shannon, so uh, damn it. Look at all these damn leaves. These things just don't ever stop. I know. Are you regretting this at all? Nah, it's kind of fun actually. It's the, it's the landscape company. That's what we got going on over here. So Shannon's been over here clearing out debris from these beds because we got to clear these out we're going to be working this way tomorrow and you can see the piles that she's making i came back here and i was cutting some limbs down some low-lying limbs some dead limbs and folks there are some big limbs but back here there was damn near half a tree that i had to cut down show you guys what i got going on over here so yeah some big old pieces we got those cut up there's that big old tree that i was talking about or part of a tree it was a huge branch this thing's like eight inches around and my little 200 dollar craftsman pole saw definitely did the job on that but still a lot of debris over here we're going to clear all this out and hopefully tomorrow tomorrow's going to be thursday hopefully tomorrow we're going to have this entire front cleared out and then the next day will be friday i estimated this job to get done by friday I don't think that that's gonna happen, but we are gonna be damn close. I work all weekend, make sure that this thing gets done. It's gonna be mulch after this, and I'm also gonna cut the grass one more time and really make sure that that's, really make sure that this property looks top notch. I was even thinking about doing like a drone video, showcasing all the work that we've done in here. Maybe a little extra added incentive. But yeah, just wanted to share with you guys what we got going on. A very special shout out to Shannon hiding behind that tree right there. Shannon, thank you. Shout out to Shannon. And also to my beautiful wife over there. Baby, thank you. We're getting it done, folks. Slowly but surely. 